Welcome to the podcast on how to import content from the BGP template into your BGP course. The first thing to do is that you want to find your active semester BGP course that you are teaching. And you can either find that from your dashboard or you can go into courses, select all courses, and find the course that you are teaching with all of your students' names in it. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to be using one BGP template and importing from another, not to confuse you, okay? So right now, we're going to pretend that this is my active course with my students' names in it. And I want to import BGP information into it. So I'm going to come down here on the left-hand side all the way down at the bottom and find Settings. Once I click on Settings, I'm going to go all the way over to the right-hand side and click on Import Course Content. Once that comes up, I'm going to select Copy a Canvas Course. And in here, I'm going to type in the name of the BGP uh, template that I would like to import from. And for my purposes, I'm going to find um, the BGP 207, FN2070 template. The next step is to select specific content. You do not want to select all content. This has changed within Canvas. The reason we're not doing this is if you have already set up your active course shell for the semester and you select all content, even if the BGP template only has an assignment and a rubric in it, if you select all content and import that in after you have set up your active course shell, it will change your course settings and your home page and your syllabus page will be reconfigured. So this is something new within Canvas, and that's why we are changing to only do select specific content. Once you've selected that, then you hit the import button. Here you can see is where you actually go to select the content you want. Click on that button. Now you can see all the different areas to choose from. So you're going to need to know what materials you need for your active course shell and you can see the different assignments or quizzes that you might need. You can click on this arrow to find all the different assignments that um, are available. For my class, I need the summary quiz, so I will check that, and then I can find the different rubrics, and I need the summary quiz rubric, and then you also need to download the learning outcomes. Uh, so we will choose all of those just by clicking the arrow here. Once you've chosen everything that you need for your active course shell, we just come down to this final selection and hit select content. Now it's been queued and pretty soon it will start to import into my course shell. As you can see, it's already completed. Once that download is complete, I can go into my um, course shell and in assignments, there's my summary quiz. Here's all my um, learning outcomes. The summary quiz rubric is there, and I'm good to go. And thankfully now, nothing else within my active course shell has been disturbed. Thank you.